you maximize your opportunity. Number two, rely on the Holy Spirit. Rely on the Holy Spirit. The book of John chapter 14 verse 26 says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, who the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Praise the living God. So many people read this verse about the Holy Spirit and they fail to appropriate it to their life. There is nothing the Holy Spirit cannot help you achieve, provided such a thing is in line with the will of God. I take it again. There is nothing the Holy Spirit cannot help you to achieve, provided such a thing is in line with the will of God, or provided such a thing will bring glory to God Almighty. Now, let me tell you a story. Uh, some years back, maybe about 10 years ago, I was to teach mathematics because um, the person who taught mathematics in my school was on leave. Praise the living God. And there was no how that particular class could stay without a mathematics teacher. And in order not to overload the teacher teaching other classes, I decided since I was free to take up mathematics. Uh, by the way, the mathematics they learn in secondary school is the O-level mathematics. And whosoever passed through secondary school who was intelligent should be able to handle mathematics. Praise the living God. You heard me right. By his grace, have taught for several decades, many decades in school. Praise the living God. And so I decided to teach that class. I was preparing to teach the class on a Monday, and this was a Friday evening, preparing based on the scheme of work, the syllabus, what to teach that particular class in next week. While preparing the lesson note to that effect, there was this particular topic I found it difficult to understand. That was due to error in the textbook. They typed it wrongly. And so I couldn't understand. I left it, I did some other thing. On Saturday, I tried the same thing. Sunday after service, I was on the same topic. I was confused. And they were supposed to learn it the next Monday. What did I do? Suddenly, I remember that the Holy Spirit can reveal everything, can teach us everything. Then I said, Holy Spirit of the Most High, I believe and I know that you gave every human the wisdom, the intellect to do whatever they did, including the mathematicians. Whatever they knew came from God, came from you. You taught them. The author of those textbooks, those that author the formulas and so on, they learned it. You inspired them to do it. It simply means you know what I don't know. Holy Spirit, what do I do? Within a twinkle of an eye, as if someone was speaking to me, look at this formula, look at this formula, get to the previous topic, look at what this textbook said. There is error in the typing here. There was error in typing. That is why the, the working cannot rhyme with the formula. Immediately, I knew what to do. I went to the formula, went to other places, got other textbooks, and I saw what the Holy Spirit was saying. So, if the Holy Spirit could teach me mathematics, for me to teach my students the next day, there is nothing Holy Spirit cannot show you. That is secular knowledge per se. But the Holy Spirit could teach me about it. And so, if you want to maximize opportunities, rely on the Holy Spirit. In my life, I've always relied on the Holy Spirit more than I rely on anybody or anything else. Wherever I come to a fix, I will ask, Holy Spirit, what is the way forward? Immediately, what to do will always come to me. Now, in the same vein, when opportunities show themselves, because most opportunities show themselves in these guys, 
If you rely on the Holy Spirit, He is going to tell you, pick this, or do this, or do that. Don't do this. Do it this way. That is the Holy Spirit for you. How can